In this video, we're gonna have a 24 hour reading challenge. So make sure you're subscribed because there's new videos every single day for this entire week for book week. And I hope you guys enjoy. I have so many books that I have started reading and I have not even gotten close. Well, I guess I'm close to finishing, but I'm just like, I haven't finished yet. So I wanna do a 24 hour reading challenge to kind of get there. I feel like I am reading way too many books and that's like a lot for me to say because normally I'm always reading like three books at once but I went a little overboard this time. I started reading like five books and just way too much. So I think that if I like focus on one book and finish that and then go on to the next one and finish that, I'll feel so much better and it won't be like so, I don't know, many? Um, I just, I don't know, five books is way too many. So these are the three books that I want to finish in this video for sure. The first one is People We Meet On Vacation. Um, I'm on page 265, so I'm pretty far into this one. Really enjoying it so far. I literally have been giggling. The banter has been making me just like blush and like kick my feet. It is really, really cute. I don't know why so many people like don't like this book. I mean, it definitely is more like romance heavy than a lot of other Emily Henry books that I've read. Um, but I definitely want to finish this one. I think it's really cute. Then I also want to finish The Mixtape by Brittany Cherry. I'm not super far into this one. I'm on chapter six, so only on page 54. But I want to finish this one because I'm going to be hanging out with Alex pretty soon and we're going to talk about this book. Um, and yeah, we like both love Brittany Cherry's writing. Um, I've read Disgrace by her, The Coldest Winter by her. I've also read um what's the other one the air he breathes by her and i read the holly dates by her so four books why did i count like this <laughs> four books um so this will be my fifth book by her and the only other book that i haven't read of hers is the problem with dating um that isn't like in a series because obviously i have to continue the element series which is uh the name for the air he breathes like series that it's in um but yeah i am like absolutely obsessed with her writing i try to read it one book of hers every month um this will actually be my second book of hers this month so um i want to read this one and then the last book is lipstick and camera clicks this book is so underrated i have not really heard many people talk about this i feel like this book is so freaking cute like i already feel like i'm going to rate this four stars like i just am really enjoying it so far i'm on page 116 um but i started this forever ago and then i think i just picked up a bunch of other books and I think the problem with reading so many books is like I don't know there's it's very rare where I will read five books that I'm like obsessed with like usually I'll read like let's say three books and usually one I'm super obsessed with and the other two are like so-so so reading the book that I'm obsessed with is usually the one that I'll read whenever I'm kind of just like I don't know, needing to get back into reading, if that makes sense, or if I'm like reading only for a short time, like if I'm in the car and someone else is driving, something like that. Um, but then the books that I like really need to focus on, the ones maybe I'm not super obsessed with, but I could like potentially get into if I get further into the book, those are the ones that I like really hone in on whenever I'm at home. So having that balance is nice because depending on the mood that I'm in, sometimes I don't want to pick up the books that I'm like not really loving right off the bat. But when you're reading five books that you love, I don't think this has ever happened. Like if you're reading five books that you love, you want to read them all. So I um, have three here and then uh, I'm reading the other ones in another video. So you guys will see those eventually. But um, I feel like once I read some of these, I will just like feel a lot better just like finishing them because I'm obsessed with them and I don't want to put any of them down, um, which is a good problem to have. I also want to read Funny Story, which is by Emily Henry. It just came out and I just feel like her books are always some of my favorites. I've read all of her books except for People We Meet on Vacation, which I'm obviously reading now, and then this book, um, all of her like ones that have come out in recent years. So I really want to read this one and see if it's as good as everyone feels like it's going to be. The first book I'm gonna start with is a book from Brittany Cherry because her books are just like, they pull you in. I feel like her books are books that I recommend to new readers. And there are some books that like, I don't recommend to new readers. Like for me, Emily Henry, I don't normally recommend her books to new readers. Um, Candy Ryan's books, I don't usually recommend her books to new readers. There's just some books that I know take a little bit more time to get into, to invest in. Um, but I feel like if you are a new reader, you have to pick up a book from Brittany Cherry because her books just like the plot twist, the drama, like all the things that happen within the books, I feel like you can get so invested so fast. So this is the book I'm going to read because I know I'm going to just like absolutely eat it up. Um, so yeah, let's start this timer and see how much we read today. I 
could sit around and wait all day. You lay easy on my mind, like a candle I just burn away. All we really have. Morning to read because I wanted to finish the mixtape. I actually brought it with me because I ended up finishing it and I wanted to finish it because I'm meeting up with Alex and we are just gonna chat. We're gonna have like a little picnic and I think that's gonna be super fun. I took my braids out. I think I'm gonna get them back in in a few weeks, but it feels nice to have my hair back. Like, I mean, obviously under my braids, like my hair is there, but like it's nice to just like, you know, I'm gonna style it with my fro and like all the things. So I was working on that this morning and finished the book. Y'all, I was crying, like crying. I'm at like nine hours right now, I'm pretty sure, um, which I feel like is pretty good, like way faster than I have ever probably done a uh, challenge. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to like hold it up for you, but nine hours. It's the fastest I've probably done a challenge in a really long time. And I feel like normally I just like don't sit for super, super long periods of time to read just because like I'm busy, like all of us are busy. But um, this book, I literally finished it. I kid you not in like two sittings, like I started it like a little bit in the last vlog, but like I only got like a couple pages in. And then in this vlog, literally, I'm not kidding, finished it in two sittings. It is so good. I'm rating this one 4.5 out of 5 stars. I cried with this one. I didn't even really stop to give you guys my thoughts while I was reading it because I did not want to put this book down. And I've read, this is my... I think fifth book by Brittany Cherry. So I've read a lot of her books and a lot of her books really pull me in. They're all four stars for me, except for this one. This one is like even higher than the other ones. But I think what makes this book even better than the other ones is like the depth of like emotion that like this book really pulls out of you. Like I feel like everyone who reads is gonna cry, but also like you're gonna be feeling like you're going to therapy by reading this book. And I just think that that's a beautiful thing when you can get that experience, not the experience of going to therapy, but when you can like feel like you're healing or learning from a book, it is just such a beautiful thing. So yeah, I don't know. I. I am really excited to talk about this book with Alex because she loved this book and it's always nice when your friends like read books that you're obsessed with too so you can like both be obsessed about it together. Um, I also brought funny story. I don't know if I'm going to start this in this video or if I'm going to start this in another video. Um, I feel like I'm going to finish this 24 hour challenge super fast. So I might actually have this video up tomorrow, um, depending on how much we read at like the picnic. I feel like we're gonna read a lot, um, but I'll keep you guys posted, obviously. I just, I still can't get over this book. It has been a very long time, like a super long time since I've read a book in two sittings. Like the first sitting I read for literally a few hours, didn't wanna get up. You know that feeling like when you find a book that's like so good, you don't wanna get up, you don't wanna get something to drink, you don't wanna get a snack. You're just like invested. That's how I felt with this book. I will say there isn't as much dialogue as I normally like in my books. But the thing is, is like I still was so captivated the whole time, which shows that this book is so freaking good because you guys know how I am about books with dialogue. Like books have to have dialogue for me to be like tapped in. And I was tapped in with this. The ending had my heart just, I was literally clutching it. I think I got to page 153. 157 before I even like got up to like take a breath and then um, I ended up like reading more um, and finishing the rest of it in the second sitting so this book is so good if you've never read anything from Brittany Cherry you definitely should some people will ask like I've seen some people on like TikTok and stuff when I share her books they'll be like oh does she like write 
books with black characters in them and she definitely does she does write books with white characters like disgraced by her dare he breathes by her um and i think the coldest winter i'm pretty sure i don't know if the coldest winter has black characters or not but i think those three i know for sure disgrace and the air he breathes both have a white um female and male like protagonist but the holly dates and the mixtape they both have a black female and male protagonist so she writes diverse characters she writes diverse plot lines i feel like her books are books that i recommend to people who are new to reading who want like a plot line that's not gonna like like be boring at all like her plots are like so twisty like i just am always surprised by how her stories go like i'm never bored so i don't know i did bring funny story i don't know if i'm gonna read that one um i also ended up finishing people we meet on vacation which i should have brought that one so i could like show you guys what i was done but i guess it doesn't really matter um i ended up finishing that one and i will give you guys my thoughts on that whenever i get home um because like i mean obviously it was a book that i've been reading for a minute um and i still have lipstick and camera clicks that i want to finish will i finish in this video i don't know um i might finish in the next video we'll see but uh i definitely want to start funny story so maybe i'll bring funny story to the picnic and like start it there i love emily henry's writing like absolutely love her stories they are like so good i do kind of wish that black authors were as hyped up as other mainstream authors like abby jimenez when her new book came out like everyone's obsessing over it emily henry's new book when it came out everyone's obsessing over it katie ryan when her book came out the black community is obsessing over it but i didn't really see a ton of other communities like celebrating her stories and i think that that's pretty telling for just like most diverse authors like as a black woman i'm celebrating all cultures i'm celebrating all authors i'm celebrating authors that aren't a part of the culture that i'm in but when it comes to other authors that share like different cultural stories i don't find that like the mass tiktok or the mass like booktube or bookstagram are celebrating those authors in the same way that like my community is or the community that the author is in so i know i think that we should definitely do better about that like i want to see not just kennedy ryan but i want to see black authors when they drop a book that they get the same hype that emily henry or colleen hoover or those other authors get and i mean i know that the they might not be necessarily as popular but that's literally because people are just not picking up those books like it's not because their writing isn't just as good like the writing is just as good if not better with some authors and it's just like a lot of people aren't picking them up i actually recently did a video um with books uh by black authors for new readers so if you're like wanting to pick up a book by a black author you don't know who to read um i did like a little tiktok on that so i think i'm going to share that on shorts soon too um but go over to tiktok and go over to instagram because i share tons of book recs over there too um but Brittany cherry kennedy ryan danielle allen natasha bishop i feel like those are the four authors that like every book of theirs i'm locked in every book of theirs like i think i've read three books by daniel allen all of them super dialogue heavy super super good she's so underrated like i posted one of her books on instagram or on tiktok and was like you should read this book if you're a new reader and you want a book that's gonna make you cry and people were like oh my god she's so underrated she does have a book coming out in um i think in january no not january july um so it'll be interesting to see like the hype that she gets for that and i hope she gets the hype that she deserves and then Brittany cherry this is literally like my fifth book of hers kennedy ryan i've read uh four books of hers natasha bishop i've read two books of hers um and i've really only read two books of not natasha bishop's books because she only has like five books to my knowledge like i don't think that she has i think she has the uh series that has like where we found our passion where we found our home and where we found our something or other it's like these brothers who are um or friends sorry not brothers and there's three of them and then she has only for the week and i'm pretty sure that's all so i've read the the third book in the series that i was telling you about with the brothers and so i'm going to go back and read the first book and then um i've also read only for the week but i definitely want to read more also if you guys 
um, saw the vlog that I put up in the bookstore the other day. Y'all, Chaz and Taylor are so invested, like so invested in uh, Only for the Week. Like Chaz this morning, she was like, oh my God, this book is so good. Uh, she's like, I'm gonna like read my uh, book and like drink a little cappuccino this morning or drink, uh, maybe she didn't say cappuccino, maybe she said like drink a, uh, I don't know what she said, she's gonna drink something this morning. And she's like, I'm gonna uh, drink like my little morning smoothie and then I'm gonna like, read this book, I'm so excited. She's like, it's like really good. I'm already on chapter three. And I was like, chapter three? <laughs> and then Taylor's like, oh my God, you've already surpassed me. And she's like, yeah, you better catch up. So this is coming from someone who does not read. She has not read a book since high school and she picked up only for the week. And that's why I always say, I feel like everyone is a reader. They just have not found the right book yet. So I don't know, I hope you guys like these little car chats. One of you guys said that you want more car chats and I literally always have something going on in my noggin. Like I'm always thinking something. Sometimes I don't wanna do car chats because I know that it's kinda of loud when I drive and so I don't want it to be like annoying, you know, with it like shaking and like me like yelling at you guys so you can hear me. But like also, I feel like it gives FaceTime vibes. Like it seems like we're on FaceTime together when I'm chatting like this. So I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna head to hang out with Alex. Uh, I have a little picnic uh, basket and I also have a little like blanket. I have some cupcakes for her. She like just hit 10K on Instagram and I'm like so freaking proud of her. Like. Her content's incredible, her presence is incredible, her personality is incredible. Um, you guys know how just incredible that she is as a person, and I wanna celebrate her. So I brought these little um, cupcakes, and y'all, the cupcakes do not look as good as I wanted them to. I got red velvet cupcakes, and then I put 10K on the top of the cupcakes, but I, you guys know I cannot draw, I cannot color, I can't do anything. Like I can't even color in the line. So like you know what it was like trying to put frosting into a funnel and write something on top of a teeny tiny cupcake. It was very hard. So I put 10 cake, 10K on the cupcakes, but it don't really look like 10K, let's just say that. It just kind of looks like 10 and like a little squiggle on the side. But I'll show you guys whenever we get there. Um, Hope she really likes it. I just want her to feel very like celebrated because she deserves it. Um, and yeah, so anyway, let's head there and I'll see you guys when we get to the picnic. Take <laughs> 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 I'll probably have you take my picture. Like, okay, the one open it up. <laughs> oh, I tried to write on. Oh, I tried to write on there, but like, I see it says ten on it. <laughs> I was telling her so I was like, I'm so bad at like drawing, at like coloring, at anything. Don't make me cry. Y'all about to stop my period. Oh, no. I tried to get the K on there. They fell off. Look. That's so sweet. Oh, I look <laughs> We're out here with the water, with the relaxing. You, your shoes are so nice and white. Walmart, $10. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> Here, let me set this up so they can talk to us. Can you see me? Oh, yeah, they can. Hold on. I don't want the sun in my face, y'all. I'm too they... old. TT too old for this. <laughs> I actually kind of like this better. This like, way? No, just like being outside oh. than like versus inside like the car and stuff. Like this is like a vibe. Oh, my titties, they just look so big. Girl, I hit my <laughs> with my knees. <laughs> Like the high, I'm gonna eat strawberry. And the cupcake. Yes. Uh, so the mixtape. I literally finished it today because I was like, I know I'm gonna see her today. Oh, but you I, finished it? I finished it in two sittings. Like mixtape with fire. It was so good. I brought it with me so we could talk about it. But we can't tell spoilers. Mm. Well, hey, <laughs> <laughs> much to talk about. It's hard for me to talk about books that I really like without. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I rated that book a 6.5. So good. Mm -hmm. I like that the characters are black, too. But you know what? What? When I seen the characters in my head, mm -hmm. they were white. That's wild. I had to keep reminding myself that they that were they black. black. That is wild. And it's uh, maybe because I'm so used to urban romance. Mm. So you were like used to them talking a certain way. Mm. So. 
In the music, did you turn on the songs that she picked? No, I only listen to Godspeed. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. I turned on all the other ones and they were very much giving white tea. <laughs> oh, white tea. <laughs> very much. Like, one of the songs I was like, okay. Oh my Whoa. goodness. Oh. Uh, it was, I was really good. Mm -hmm. I don't like this angle. What? Do I look like a fat whale? No! Let uh, me get closer really like that. Man, look at the girls. <laughs> the girls just... Yeah, I'm keeping my behind the knees. They just be out to play. Mm -hmm. Is that better? <laughs> I'm trying to hide them. Wait, you want to move your purse back a little bit? It's fine. I just hate how big my boobs are. I should get a reduction. No. Yes. <laughs> I want to be one of those girls that get surgery and then come back and be like, oh my god, I was like, I worked out every day, <laughs> but I really just went and got a BBL. No, I just got surgery. <laughs> There's so many people who I feel like are like that. Mm -hmm. Or they get surgery and then you see them in the gym and they be like, now nah, we know you ain't build your booty in three months. That take a good year or two. Mm -hmm. And then some. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, uh, what thing we gonna do? We gonna eat? Mhm. Mm I love a good picnic. You know that uh, guy on TikTok who's like, I love me a good hood jam. Yeah, <laughs> like that's DeAndre me with the, Brown. Yes, that's me with the picnic. I love me a good picnic. His skin <laughs> is always giving. I know. His teeth are phenomenal, and I just know he smell good. Mhm. Mm People talk about him. Mhm. Mm yeah, cause they're like. This is the thing people don't like when you start to succeed. Mm. And so, like, since he start, like, he's not part of the corporate world. So they're like, why are you talking about corporate stuff? It's like, he can talk about whatever he wants right, to talk about. Right, because he wasn't corporate Betty. Right, yeah. But they're like, you're not corporate anymore. Like, so? <laughs> so? She was. At one point. We also brought, um. No! Um, my, my ticket did the business at 5 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> Next time. Yeah, you know what? The day turned out pretty nice, didn't it? It did, yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. I like your dog. Okay. <laughs> Actually, my son dumped him off about five or six years ago. Wow. Aww. He's cute. Have a good day. Good. You are so nice. Mm -hmm. That dog is not cute. Yeah. <laughs> Just like some people, kids is not cute. It's cute to me. Everybody's dogs is not. Beauty is in the eyes of beholder. <laughs> yes. Excuse me. You know what? What? I saw this video today. And it was this girl. She had this cat. And she came in the house and she was like, oh, I got to take Turu to the vet. <laughs> and so a lady had uh, stitched it. It was like, baby, it's time to say goodbye to Turu. <laughs> because Turu looked. She was like this big. You could tell it was just her time. Like, right. it, was, it was bad. That's sad. Mmm. Wow. This is so good. The cheese tastes like money. Mm hmm. It's some good cheese. Soft. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So expensive. I love it. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. I love a good Kobe J. <laughs> what else did you read since I've seen oh, you? Oh, girl. You read Abby Jimenez uh, for the first time. Yeah, part of your world. So good. What was his name? Girl. Daniel. Yes, Daniel mm -hmm. gave daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in a very like like a subtle way almost. I did hate though, like oh I can't say that, but I loved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her books I feel like you just eat up in like a day. They're so and good. It's the perfect level of smut. Mm hmm Yeah, I noticed the mixtape didn't have as much and like I was like, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Like perfect. Because it, it was in there but like it was way towards the end, like uh -huh. And you know I'm trying to get away from smut. So mm -hmm. it just worked out perfect. I was like, wow. Somebody's wife, I told you to get that. That's spicy. And it's in the car. Yeah, it's really spicy. It <laughs> yeah. I'm going to eat it up. It's spicy, but you got to eat it up. Oh, wait, y'all. Like, I'm really trying not to. But it's not great. Like, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And it had a lot of spice. So it also has other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know. But it does have a good amount. Oh, man. Yeah. The girl you had told me to follow, um, Dose. Dose of books. 
her account. She was the one I saw it at first. Me too. Yes. And I was telling everybody, like, go follow her. She gives really good um, urban romance and also thriller wrecks. Like, I guess I she just started an Instagram. Who did it, Dose? Mm-hmm. She <laughs> said Dose, like, that's her name? <laughs> It's good. Mm -hmm. Girl, I can make up nicknames for everybody because I can never remember anybody's handle. Mm -hmm. Girl. What? When I verified my Instagram. On my lip. It, look at you. Good looking out. Yeah, well, it was a strawberry, so I didn't want you to be like, girl. When that's like, uh, it made me put my government name on there. I was mad. Dang. I was like, dang, not they know my real name. <laughs> Yes. We'll be like, all right, let's see where she lives. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, these are good. I'm mm -hmm. definitely about to be sun kissed. Mm -hmm. You definitely got a tan. I love it. Yeah, I know. Like, you I do. Love it. I'm peeling though. Oh. Like, look at that. We got burnt. You see that? I got burnt so bad, but I wanted to. Isn't that gross? Isn't and my it? legs peeling. It's not gross. Oh. But you definitely got dark. Mm hmm. Darker, but because you're not really dark. Mm -mm. You still like skin. You like dark. Alone. Ain't no wrong with that. I'm dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm it's trying to think if anything else exciting happened while I've been away from you guys. You know, I, I love checking in with you guys. I know this is Shaughnessy's vlog, but you guys are my home. <laughs> is that a thing? You started here. Yeah. Oh they my God, you. that's why I was like, Edwardsville's where we started. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not right us, now. but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sweat my face off. Me too. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh. It's crazy that it wasn't even a year ago. Girl! No, it's September 9th. I remember the date. And I remember the hour where the Lord blessed me with this holy power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting more people into our reading cult. I see that. I got weak with Chaz and um, Taylor. Taylor. Yes, so they went and I gave Taylor um, before I let go for my birthday, like forever ago. Mm -hmm. She got it, didn't read it until a few months ago, and she's like hooked, like locked Oh, in. dang. So I was like, can we go to the bookstore? And they were like, uh, well, she wasn't like, uh, but Chaz was like, uh, I don't like really read. Like, I haven't really read since high school. So I gave them both only for the week. Mm -hmm. When I saw them, literally Chaz up. is on chapter three already. Mm -hmm. That's like a lot for someone somebody who don't read. No, it's only been a few days. Like I saw them on um, Saturday. So you got them both a copy? Got them both a copy, yeah. And Chaz is already on chapter three. And she was like, I'm not going to read it. Like, mm -hmm. blah, blah. And this morning, literally, she texted me in our group chat and was like, I'm already on chapter three. Like, I can't wait to get my smoothie and read my book this mm -hmm. morning. And I was like... Weren't you the one who said you didn't have time to read? And I'm like, you will make time when you want to make time. And only for the week? Mm hmm Well, you know, you have to get, like, for someone who doesn't like to read, like, you got to get uh -huh. that good book. And I was like, I just know that when it's messy, like. Uh -huh. And they were reading the back, and they were like, her sister <laughs> tried to take her boyfriend. Yes. Like, uh, yeah. It's so good. Mm-hmm. So, so freaking good. Yeah. But it's also scary giving wrecks to people because, like, you could be the reason why they never get back into reading again. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, if I but, gave them a book they didn't like, they might be like, no, nah, reading's not for me. But that's the fun part about it, because it's like, okay, well, you don't like that, let's try this one. Like, mm -hmm. there are so many different books for people to try. There are. I don't know if I would have been able to get them to try another one uh -huh. if they didn't like this one, because mm -hmm. they were very, like... For real? Yeah, I was like, can we go to the bookstore? They're like, oh. and I was like, just give me 30 minutes. You know, mm -hmm. we weren't in there for 30 minutes. But I was like, mm -hmm. just give me 30 minutes. I'm like, all right, we can give you 15 Which minutes. bookstore did y'all go to? The one in Fairview Heights. Oh, okay, okay, you was in Fairview. Mm hmm Yeah, it's only like 10 minutes from them. And um, they were like, all right, I'll give you 15 minutes. <laughs> and I was like, they're ready to be in and out. We were in there way longer than that, but. You could never go into the bookstore for 10 minutes. Mm -mm. But for people who don't like book shopping, it's like when you first went in, you're like, you want to go to the bookstore? Mm -hmm. And then once you get in there, you're like, no, it's fun. You want me like eight books. I wasn't gonna do all that for them because I knew they would read them. I did say I would get them too, but they're like, no. Yeah, you, you didn't know if I was gonna read it either. You just had faith, I guess. I did. I had faith. The girl had faith in me. Yeah, cause did look. I buy you, um... Only for the week? Yeah. But did I buy all like eight or however many I bought right away? You sent me more. 
<laughs> that eight was at the store. Oh yeah. You bought me 22 books. That is kind of crazy that I just like right off the bat was like, you're gonna like to read. Like what if you, what if I bought all those and you didn't touch any of them? The Lord knew. Mm -hmm. it was, I'm trying to keep my hair in my face because it's hot. It was divine intervention, y'all. The knew? Lord knew I needed You it. need books, you need the hobby, you need the community. Uh -huh. You need your future career path. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Who would have thought that you can make money reading books? Mm -hmm. It's hot. It, will. it is hot. I'm so glad I took off that long sleeve. I can't do this, y'all. Can I think of what other books I've read? Mm. What? I read a love song for Ricky Martin. I told you. I told you what everybody Girl. was saying. I do think that if someone likes uh, magical realism, that's what like it. What is that? Um, like, it's kind of like fantasy, but kind of not. Like, it would be like if something could potentially happen in real life, but like mm -hmm. it probably won't. And it's kind of like magical. Like, mm -hmm. there's this book that that's called The Seven Year Slip that recently came out. And okay, it's about, yeah, my friend told me to read it. Yeah, and it's magical realism. The girl, every time she like goes in her house, I think she's like sent to a different era. It's like a time machine. Kind of like Freaky Friday. Yes. So that would be like magical realism. It's like in, set in like now time, but like it has some other elements. I think that if people like magical realism and historical fiction, they like it. I don't like either of those. So the whole time I was like, I do not care about the history of Harlem. They had a lot mm -hmm. of history about Harlem. I do not care about that. And they also had a lot of like, a lot of magical realism, a lot of voodoo, oh, a lot of. Much. You don't fool with that. No, I sure don't. <laughs> you almost did it. So, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I almost did it when you told me not to. <laughs> nah. Yeah, so it just had like things I genuinely don't like to read. So mm -hmm. I kept wanting to skip, but the romance was, it was so, so good. good. Like their passion was like so good. And I kept being like, why is this marketed as a romance? Because the romance was like, if there were three tropes of the book, it would be like the bottom of the barrel. Like they barely had any romance. Yeah. Dang. So the romance was, re it was really, really good, but this wasn't, didn't hit, rated two stars. Woo! Two stars, man, you ain't like that. You no. ain't like that at all. Two or two and a half, I can't remember. Also read Love Redesign, two stars. I just, I just, <laughs> and we didn't bought it. I bought that book. You might like it, but... You know I don't like it. You know what I like at this point. It was just so boring. Like, the whole time... <laughs> Why was everybody hyping it up? So everyone I've seen who's liked it has not read the Dream of Billionaire series. It's been, like, their first book by Lauren Asher. And this is... I say this all the time. Sometimes I feel like people enjoy the writing style mm -hmm. more than uh, they actually like the story. That and, makes sense. And you know her writing style is, like, you can eat it that up so sense. fast. So, like, I finished... It was, like, a 500-something page book. I finished it in, like, a few days, even though it sucked. Mm -hmm. But it's because she has so much dialogue. It's, like, a fun book to read that because her sense. writing style is easy. So if you've never read from her before, you'll be like, ooh, this is, like, fun. Like, I'm finishing it fast. But, like, the plot literally was, like, so... <laughs> Like, so boring. Um, oh, yeah. Her second one in that series comes out in June. I'm like, do I want to spend money that? Don't do it. I was trying to think of a book that I recently DNF. Um. Oh. <laughs> Not us being like, oh. <laughs> it was some Christian book. Really? It was bad. Really? The writing what was, was in it? The writing was horrible. Do you want one? Yeah, I want to one second. The writing was absolutely horrible. <laughs> it was horrendous. What was it called? Was it the one with the um, church yeah. sisters? You said yes. No. Oh, wasn't that one? Church sisters. Remember, there was one that you bought. It was like um, I want to say it was called like church sisters something. It's about the dog on a leash. Um, oh. And I'm love on a leash dog. Something. I got where she was going. We just couldn't get there. Like, like, um, I, it has so much potential. Mm -hmm. Do you like, think that anyone would, would like it? Or no. no? It's like she would, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Dang. Like, she would start a thought and then go back to, like, a different, so say they went back in time. Mm -hmm. And then she would be in present time, you would never know because the transition was not good at mm, so all. like the writing was just like The not. writing, uh, the editor should have been slapped because... 
the editor should have. <laughs> not her. It wasn't her fault. If she hired an editor, the editor should have caught that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You pay somebody to edit your work mm -hmm. so that way they catch stuff that you don't catch. Dang, that's messed up. But I mean, I saw where we were going. You knew the plot. But I knew the wasn't. plot. It was kind of like a horrible Tyler Perry movie. You see, you hear the message. Do you think the Hallmark people would like it or not even them? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's not happening. No one's going to like it. The, it just was so confusing. When you're reading mm. it, you're so confused. I was, the writing just wasn't And good. then the like, font was like, is it italic? The whole time? Yeah, bad. Just the bad. whole time? Just bad. Oh, uh, yeah, that would get me. I feel like I'm real weird about text. Like, if the text Horrible. looks, like, weird. If it if it looks too, um, you know some texts, they bleed a lot? Mm hmm like the ink looks like it's bleeding yeah. out. I don't like that. Yeah. Sometimes I, I don't like books with yellow paper either. I didn't like it. I, tr I tried. Was that by a black author? Mm-mm. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You said no. She is not of the African-American descent. Dang. Um, but I, I will say that I saw where she was going. And okay. I got it. It was good. It was, was it her first book? I, I think maybe her first or second. But it's Dang. apparently going to be a series. And I just don't think the series should be serious. Yeah, she should start over. But I mean, Dang. she I saw where she was going and it was like like how I feel about Tyler Perry. I hear the message. Mm -hmm. It's just the delivery is sometimes kind of mixed up. Mm -hmm. But I mean, look at him, he's a freaking billionaire. So yeah. it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know like any of his shows? Love them all. Oh, okay. I love horrible uh like shows. But just like not horrible act. books. Yeah. If yeah. I gotta sit there and read, I can read something better. I feel that. But like, if I'm watching a story and it just reminds me of a soap opera, I'm gonna keep watching mm -hmm. it because I love Young and the Restless. So I was like a big soap opera person. You gotta read Love You Always. Love You Always. Love By you. Lauren Lacey. Oh, you told me about the book. I think it's in my Amazon cart. I Rated just need 4.5 out of 5. But I have so many books in my Amazon cart. But that one is like... Is she black? Uh-huh. Okay. It gives soap opera, and it's like has, for real? It has like 200 reviews on Goodreads. Like, it reminded me of Love and Other Words, like, I'm, but by a black author. Like, okay. so good. Now it was, somebody on here was like, you said it reminded me of Love and Other Words, but I read it and they were kind of toxic. And they kind of uh, were. Me and Sister Christy was talking about you in my video. What video? We were talking about uh, my last one where I went with her because we were talking about why you like Magnolia Parks and it's so freaking toxic. I'm she telling was like, you. Shaughnessy is just so positive. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. She's like, Shaughnessy, no hate. No hate. <laughs> No, hey. But Wait, which video was that? This was the last time I saw her. No, no, because I had posted old footage last oh, week. Oh, okay. So okay. it was before that. Before that, okay. Yes, and she had a full, like, I was like, I, don't, I said, well, I tried to save you. I said, well, I don't think that Tessie she liked the, the whole thing. Uh -huh. I said, I don't think she liked the relationship, but I think you do. I so do. I was just trying to. I love BJ. <laughs> I love BJ Magnolia. And people will roast me on here. They'll be like, and some people, they're like, thanks for putting me on. Like, I love it. You know, it's such a great, like, series. And other people will be like, I tried to read. I just couldn't get into it. I'm mm -hmm. like, that's okay. It's not for you. It's for me. Like, it, I, okay, I, this is, this is, <laughs> this is, this is my thought, okay? I feel like you cannot truly know the characters. Don't get my stuff even that. The cupcake is hiding. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got you, girl. I'm not going to have you looking crazy. <laughs> well, my face looks a little crazy. But okay. I took a bunch. Okay, um, I, uh, I feel <laughs> like when you read Don't the whole thing. trying story. to tell me how to take pictures. <laughs> my side boob is to my knees yes, right now. Okay. So, I'm just say cheese. There we go. Uh, you said just say cheese. Uh, what was I going to say? I, uh, I feel like when you get to book five, you know them, like, so much better. Like, I want you to read that. Yeah, go ahead. I, I want you to read that series so bad. Like, I... It's so good. They're toxic, but also, like, they started dating when they were 19. Like, who's not toxic when they're 19? Like, I feel like most 19-year-olds are... And, like, their toxicity is, like, okay, it's not the best. Like, it's definitely not the best. But what? What are you looking at me for? You ever heard somebody, like, rob a bank? Do I got food in my face? Huh. And then they'd be like, well, they really needed the money. Yeah. But robbing the bank was still bad. No, it's de okay. It's definitely bad. But that's, what I was, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like when you get to book five, they have so much growth. 
Like by so we'll see yeah. Yeah, so like by so book maybe five. She didn't read it all. That's why I was like, I feel like you have to get to the end. I thought she read them all. I don't know, ask her next time. She wants to see you. When are we going back? Whenever you want to go. Let me know when. Monday's work. Well, if she said anytime we go, even if she's not working, just text her and she'll come up there. Okay. Because it, oh my God, it's crumbling. Yeah, we just, we only see each other once a month. So like, we just haven't been in the last two months. It's really only been two months. She's like, when is Sean and she going back? I don't know. I was gonna see busy. I tried to pop in when I was there. She hasn't been there. Yeah, you go at the worst times. Whenever she's I, she's in Wisconsin right now. You Sorry. know me and her are legit friends. I love that. Did you guys go out to eat or something? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's all on your vlog. We're gonna play this game called The Bit. If you guys wanna see some super funny, funny answers, go over to Alex's channel because we played this over there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and the questions were, Funny. They were like funny. Er, I get to go first. Yes. What are the odds? Have the person on your right choose a random number in your phone to okay. send a you up text to this works even better after two p.m. We're not doing. <laughs> we're that. not doing that. Okay, pull another one. <laughs> it would be like your boss or something. You up? <laughs> They're like, yeah, you. uh we're here. <laughs> what? Who is most likely to plan an entire future before the second date? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw so much future in his eyes. I just knew that he was the one for me. I just knew that Doesn't we were going to Doesn't even have to be a second date. It could be Man. no date. You'd be like, you know what? I'd be like, I think the Lord brought him <laughs> into my life. You'd be like, my for man. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like I do I stuff on my lip. Uh, uh, -uh. Oh, okay. Add an audio prompt to your dating app profile, but the group gets to decide what to say. I don't have a dating app profile, so I'm gonna do it. We don't, cause we're in relationship. Yeah. Share your most recently added photo in my eyes only on Snapchat or your recently deleted album. I don't really use Snapchat like at all. Get a different one, chat. Okay. I do have uh my most recently deleted photo. Oh, my camera's not right there. Mm -mm. Share my most recently deleted photo. Most likely to invite the grocery store cashier to their wedding. Me. You. Definitely you. Definitely me. You're like, oh, you can come. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. Like, what you doing on Saturday? Yeah, you would be like, why is that waiting at my yeah, wedding? Yeah, I would be like, I didn't invite you. I definitely would. It's I invite would. only. I would. Most, li most likely to clap when the plan lands. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> most likely to clap. When the plane lands. When the plane lands. <laughs> the plane lands. I'm definitely clapping. Yeah, I don't think I'm a clapper. No, you're going to be like, girl, stop. <laughs> you would be embarrassed. You'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It's your turn. Uh, oh, this doesn't what? say anything on it. I don't know. This is one of the odds. Okay. Okay, reply with the heart eye emoji to the five most recent Instagram stories on your feed. What are the eyes? With the heart eye emoji with five. I would probably just to get on your recent. nerves. I would do that. But I would do the that. odds are not high, but I would definitely do it. I would do it. Just for fun. <laughs> you could do it right now. <laughs> it's my turn. Oh yeah, it is your turn. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I think some of these you actually are supposed to do. What you mean? Like that one? Like it says like reply. Yeah, I think, I think so. so. <laughs> we like would do test. it though. That's not even like a big deal to put hard eyes on some pictures. No, that's weird. That's Start that. a group chat with your nightmare blunt rotation. I don't even know what that means. I don't either. Okay, we're Is not Is that like people who smoke or something? I don't know. Most likely to say that their mom said no to get out of plans as an adult. I was going to say probably me. Yeah, I don't really care what sister um, Sharon. Love you, sis. If you see this, <laughs> like I don't care, girl. <laughs> Most likely to still be friends with an ex's mom post breakup. I feel like you. You're nicer than me, and none of my men are their moms like me. So. Oh really? Mm -hmm. None of them. Dang. Probably Double me. Double homicide. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was funny. This <laughs> is my turn. You would still talk to Brady's mom if y'all broke up. You wouldn't check yeah, in. I would. I wouldn't check in, but she'd probably check in with me. Oh, and I'd yeah. talk to her. 
most likely to say most likely to say it's different this time every single time <laughs> It could be your job, it could be a friend, it could be a relationship. No, I give things and people too many chances, but I'm learning. I promise, I'm learning. <laughs> you have to call me out. It could be your allergy. That's what you said when we were in uh, Chicago, like, because uh, you're like lactose intolerant. I was like, you don't have lactose or something, and you were like, like, it's fine. Like, like it's not different, it's still going to be the same. You'll still get sick. It's your turn. Uh, most likely to throw a tantrum for getting overstimulated. You? You think it's me? I think it's you. <laughs> you think it's me? You really think? I so? think it's me too, though. I think it's me because I I get an attitude. I'm trying to like think. It. I would get an attitude. I probably yeah. would. I'm more dramatic, so I probably would. I would get an attitude too. I get. I don't like being overstimulated. I don't think anybody does, but. I told my kids to leave me alone yesterday for ten minutes because I was overstimulated. I said, please. Don't come my room. I don't know days. how parents do it. Like you guys have like a constant person who's overstimulating you. I would literally want to throw them out the window. Some people are made to be parents, and some yeah. people the Lord has to help. I'm the parent that the Lord <laughs> has to help. Most likely to secretly send an audition tape to American Idol. <laughs> I would definitely do that. I would definitely do. I that. I can see myself doing that, but only secretly. Like really? I would, I would never tell anyone that I did it. For real? Yeah. <laughs> I used to want to be on American Idol so bad. <laughs> like, Why? so bad. Because I just thought it was the coolest show. Oh, Lord bless. Right. Back in the day. Make your most recent Spotify, Spotify playlist someone's rant, someone random's name and post it to your Instagram story. What are the odds? I probably wouldn't do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Unless I made, like, a loved one and put Ty's and was, like, name Ty's on name. But it has to be a random person. Mm -mm, I don't know you like that. Yeah, that, uh -uh. people be reading into that like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Most likely to throw a funeral for a month long situation. <laughs> don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. I love that. how all the dramatic ones. <laughs> like, you just immediately start laughing. Because I already know you're going to try to say it's me. You will be like, you like, all right, you got to go. <laughs> See ya. I would be like, oh, <laughs> I thought we had a future. <laughs> yeah, because you're thinking about the future already. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. Uh, that's hilarious. That's not a problem. That means you trust people. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to win the Hunger Games by becoming the capital's favorite. <laughs> I'm like, kill me now. <laughs> You're like, I don't care. Yeah, I'm like, take me out. Take me out the games. Just take me out. Take me out, Cletus. <sighs> what is a fanfic? Like Read a fan it. fiction? Yeah, fanfiction. It's fan fiction. Uh, most likely to secretly write a fanfic. I would never. It's like, um, you know how people make those stories about celebrities like Harry Styles? Like a biopic, or... but it was from like a fan's perspective? Yes, what's a biopic? Mm -hmm. Ain't that about like a person? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. It could be. Fan fiction is write? just fan fiction. No. I don't like any celebrity that much. But I guess this is most likely, so... You? Maybe. I ain't writing nobody about nothing. But you know more celebrities than me. I just watch more TV. <laughs> That's true. Sure Maybe turn. me. I don't know. Most likely to get mad at everyone for staying up too late at the sleepover, me. <laughs> you like sleepover. I ain't going to no sleepover. <laughs> like, I go to bed. No sleepover. Go to bed. What are the odds that I would lyric prank text someone? Uh, the group's decision on the song, but bad bad idea, right, is a great option. So, like, you would just, like, take some lyrics from a song and send it to somebody, and they think you're saying it, but it's lyrics from a song. Oh, I would do that for I would fun. do that, yeah. I think I might do that for fun. <laughs> just, like, right That'd now? That'd be a good video. <gasps> That's that a would good be video, but taking lines out of books and texting them to people and waiting for people to respond. Oh, that's yes, a good that would video. Be good. That's, a, that. that's a good video. That is you a good video. You should do it too. Look <laughs> Be on the lookout. We both got the same video coming out too. <laughs> we could start a trend. We could. Yeah, definitely. You could do like. Um, oh, this is all you, but go ahead. What does it say? Most likely to be the rich aunt. <laughs> 
Yay. Do you work. see that video on TikTok with that uh, girl dancing with uh, her aunt? And everyone's like, oh, that's her mom. And everyone in the comments was like, yeah, it's not her mom. That's definitely her aunt. It's giving oh. auntie energy. Because, <laughs> like, moms aren't dancing at a concert with their kid. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and the aunt, they were like, they had a, um, a dance that they were doing together. Like, she was twerking, mm -hmm. like, all this stuff. And the girl, I think, was like 10. It was so funny. You like, should say something. Just you keep doing that. I don't know. You said we should. My brain moves faster than my was, I think it was about the um, the texting somebody. Uh, never mind. It's never gone. mind. She she does it's that. Gone. Often. I literally do that all the time. Most likely to. What? what? My turn. Didn't you read the last one? Oh, rich auntie. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Most likely to say I'm moving here after being in a new city for two hours. I think that's you. Me? I think that's you. You think? It could be me. Uh, uh, I don't know. See, look. You didn't away. go to Chicago and say I'm moving here? No. Oh. You said you would live in Chicago. I did you say you were, you said you would get an apartment in Chicago. And I said, I don't know I how did people say do that. this. I did say that. She's the Lulu. What are the odds? Prank call a man saying you're at the dinner reservation he made and wondering where he's at. <gasps> I would do that. That would be funny. Mm -hmm, I wouldn't. <laughs> you turn around and be like, I ain't make no reservation. Why did <laughs> you call me? <laughs> Uh, what are the odds that you send a well thought out fake breakup text <laughs> to someone you kissed once? I would do that for fun. <laughs> Just to see the dramatics. <laughs> <laughs> I probably wouldn't do that. They'd be like, huh? We never dated. I'm weak. What are the odds? Show and explain your recent Google search history to the group. <laughs> <laughs> I be researching some random stuff like. Uh, Hold on, I'm gonna see how bad mine are. I be researching math. <laughs> I'm so bad. At but math. how do you see the recent? Uh, go to. No, nah, right see, don't be doing, don't be doing. Wait, I'm don't not be doing too much. Wait, that's it right there. Oh no, mine's not bad. This is so <laughs> Wait, I didn't read it. It's not Let bad. Me <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> I'll keep that private. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, explain your day, but through interpretive dancing. What are the odds? <laughs> Please get up and do it. I would do Please it. Please get up and you do, do it. it. No, you do it. Come on, get it's up. It's morning. <laughs> <laughs> I woke <love that>. up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. What are the odds? Post a thoughtful birthday post for the person to you, right? I oh, mean, to your right. <laughs> you gotta post the thoughtful birthday post. <laughs> I got scared. She looked at me in my eyes. I couldn't see because she had sunglasses on, but I know she looked at <gasps> me in my eyes and she scared me. I told her really to look right when someone was looking our way. They were walking up the sidewalk and they literally looked right at us. And she was. <laughs> okay. It's your turn. Okay. Most likely to claim being lactose intolerant for attention. I don't think we would claim it. I mean, we either have it or we don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the gas proved that I was really lactose. No, you definitely have it. Like, I'm not doubting that. <laughs> what are the odds you become an ordained minister and post that you're now <laughs> accepting bookings? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll I would that definitely way. do that. I'm definitely not. What are the odds you post your most recent TikTok draft? That's very. I would do that. Yeah. Man, we only have four left. We've done this whole Dang. box. This is fun. I'll link this below if you guys want to uh, do this. What are the odds you text a finance bro and ask him to explain inflation? I would do something like that. I wouldn't. They <laughs> hurt. <laughs> They're like, well, let me tell you. Oh, <laughs> I did not. I shouldn't ask. Most likely to make every single thing a personality trait. But honestly, I'm right oh, there I'm with serious. you. Your dog is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. What kind of dog is that? A poodle. Uh -huh. It like a mega poodle? Like a standard poodle. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Those are smart dogs. She <laughs> said a standard <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? Uh huh. Yeah. 
What did it say? It says uh, it's a superlatives. <laughs> what? Where'd it go? It was oh. not nothing. Oh. Last one. Most likely to mysteriously become a billionaire and no one knows how. You? Because everybody gonna know when I become a billionaire. <laughs> but they would know how? You post, yeah, you post that you got properties. <laughs> everybody knows that you, you know, that you have these, you know. Mine would be, I would definitely, oh, but nobody knows. Yeah, because no one knows how. Oh, I guess I because I would sell a little booty. <laughs> <laughs> you sell the feet. I forget you hate feet. Look, that's me selling it. <laughs> if it's going to give me a billion dollars, I'll twerk something now. Drop it down low, drop it low, low, low. Girl, first you say you'll be an ordained minister. <laughs> hey, hey, I am multifaceted. Is that what it's called? I am a jack of all trades. Uh, I can marry you and then want you to marry me. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh Lord. Be a fence. Dang, well we this is fun. We did this whole deck. I will link this deck. Um if you guys want to see the other half of the deck, go to Alex's channel. This is funny. Y'all come to my channel because over there you may get, you know, a video a week or you may not, depending on the grace of the Lord. <laughs> No, you give them a video every week. Yeah, I give. You I do. try to give y'all two videos a week, y'all. Yeah, you really do. And you, it, as do long it. as life is not lifing, you do it consistently. Even when life is life, life, and I feel like you do. You're just nice. <laughs> what? You do. Nice. You really do. She's nice, guys. All right, guys. I'm gonna close it out for today. This is all you're gonna get to see of Alex for another month. Dang. Unless we plan something, we could. Oh wait, we're we're both going to that thing. We are Yay. okay. We're we're going to something, so actually so we are going to see, see each other really again. Soon. Yes, you guys will see the, her really soon. I'm trying to get her to just go to that thing and forget the other thing. <laughs> I can't forget the other thing. I had another I thing that was planned first, so I got to do the other thing. But I'm am going to do the thing. I already got my ticket for the thing. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, so exciting! Yeah, so I'm for sure going. We gotta go. We gotta go eat somewhere too. After. Yes. You'll make time for me to do that? Yes, ma'am. You know, because sometimes I can be a bit needy. It's okay. I'm I trying to reach that, but it's, I'm not trying to grab your hoo-ha. Right. I'm going to say you a little close. <laughs> don't want Brady slapping me. I don't want your woman, Brady. <laughs> oh, look at them. Oh, my God. It's you and Brady as kids. Girl. <laughs> it's a white guy and a black girl. Okay, and they're young. Bowls. That's How cute. cute. And they have their little matching Crocs. So cute. He's got a pink hat. She's got a pink shirt. I'm telling you they're dating. And if they're not, we're going to make it happen. I'm going to go steal that poodle. Y'all, she told me something. That's just a standard poodle. That's a mega poodle. That poodle. Can we zoom in on the poodle? No, it's about to go crazy. Oh my God, y'all. The poodle's huge. Poodle. This is cute. Oh, these kids are just out here fishing and they're like so innocent they don't like have 13, no phone no they're like 13 14 15 like i feel like if i saw like 8 9 10 it's like okay whatever like they be doing whatever mm -hmm. but this is the age where like kids they're outside mm -hmm. sitting out on our dock watching the most beautiful sunset. So I want to give you guys a quick update of the books that I finished. I didn't end up reading more than nine hours. Like that's just where we're going to stop. Mostly because I just am done with the challenge. Like I'm going to do it again later in the month, but I'm done for now. Um, I finished the mixtape 4.5 out of five stars. So, so good. I feel like if you've never read any of her books, you have to read this one. I think everyone would be obsessed with this one. Like it's just so good. It's a heartfelt story. You're going to really, you're going to feel a lot of feelings in this one. It also touches on like grief. It talks about like family dynamics that are difficult. It talks about like learning to stand on your own. A lot of good themes in this one. Um, I also finished People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I'm rating this one 3.5 out of 5 stars. Also really enjoyed this. The banter of this is really fun. Um, I feel like my least favorite book of Emily Henry's is probably Book Lovers. And then after that would probably be this one. And then after that would probably be Happy Place. And then my top favorite is probably Beach Read, I think. I really enjoyed Happy Place though, but for different reasons. Like I feel like that one was more about like family and friendship. Um, and I feel like the romance was really heavy in Beach Read. But only got to nine hours, but that is okay. Because challenges are just like here for fun. Like they're not for 
like anything other than enjoyment and I really enjoyed myself with this challenge. Brady and I are gonna watch the sunset out here. He's getting ready to come out and um, it's like really pretty out here. So we're gonna just sit out here and watch it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these book recs. There'll be another video tomorrow. So make sure you guys are watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one for book week. Bye guys.